Very cool. Hey guys, welcome to 110 Hobbies. Today we're gonna to talk about this new hang long barrel smoke kit. All right, so let's dig into this box. Let's see what they got. We've got instructions. We've got our all metal reservoir. So this will hold your oil and it's also got the element inside it so that burns it off. This is your pump. This will push it through the system. This is your hose. I have hose. Uh, this will be your small control board. So this guy is going to go uh, interrupt the system, which will control all the other stuff and some wiring and hardware. So let's dig into this. We're going to use the Leopard 2A6 today. First off, there's six screws at the bottom. We'll zip those out right now. So this, this has been previously opened before. So uh, we have labeled all the wires to where they go. We strongly recommend that you take the time and label your wires in the positions they came out of. Uh, if not, you can always refer back to your instructions because it is in there. So next thing we need to do is remove these, these five uh, screws around here to remove the, the gear ring, which is for the turret. We've got that removed. We're gonna have to undo this here to get the wires undone. And don't worry about ring placement. It only goes on one way. Pull up on the hull. And there we go. So on this particular model, there's another plate on the bottom of the turret that we have to remove before we gain access to this. So there's another set of screws. All right, so the next thing you need to do, I'll spin it around here and give you a look. You'll have to remove this bracket because we're not gonna remove the elevated, the elevation for your barrel mechanism here. So the wire goes through this and goes under this. We'll just remove this guy real quick. So we got a zip tie here we need to cut. Your tank, we've had this apart before, so your tank's gonna end up having a uh, a factory wrap on this so you just have to unwrap it and gain access to this cable so now that these wires have been freed up your entire barrel and breech assembly has been freed up so we're actually going to pull this out so now that we've got our mechanism out we can start disassembling this to get the smoke kit in so the next step that we're going to do is we're going to take apart the barrel from the breech assembly so we need to gain access into this So there's a few ways that you can go about doing this. We're going to show you the way that is going to preserve this unit. So you're, you're going to actually be able to revert back to shooting BBs because with this, this kit, it's going to eliminate the ability to shoot because we're sending a pipe into the tube. So first step, we're going to want to start taking this apart. Okay, so once you have all your screws out, you're gonna to wanna to gently open this. Now, there is some gears inside here and a spring. So you kinda of wanna be careful when you're pulling this apart so you don't send gears bouncing across your port. So we got this apart pretty good. So we're gonna to wanna to have to gain access to this tube here. So this is this is your, your tube that goes into your, your barrel. And as you can see right now, it's, it's completely closed off by the mechanism that pushes the air to push the pellet out. So we're gonna to have to gain access to this. But what we've found is that by moving this, you can actually remove this piece, which can be put back at a later date if you want to pull the smoke out and shoot BBs again. So as you can see here, it's left us enough gap to get a hose in here to just give us that smoke effect. So we'll show you how that works. Okay, so once you're at this point here, what you're gonna wanna do is you wanna grab your hose. So this is where you don't have to alter, which is very nice to not have to destroy anything to make this work. So from here, we can start reassembly. So 
There we go. So this little channel here is where the BBs drop in from the top. They fall into here and it falls into the chamber where it shoots it out. We've obviously eliminated that, but you keep this piece for a later date. If you ever want to change it back, this can go back in and reverts it all back to the way it was. So now that this is assembled and back together, this is all we really need to do to this unit. So we move on to the next. All right, and for this point in here, we're gonna install the barrel. So now we're pretty much back to a complete unit. Next step, wiring. So this is where I mentioned earlier, the instructions are gonna come in handy. This is gonna show you exactly where all this stuff plug in. Now, as you can see on the top of the instructions here, they show you a different diagram. This diagram here is intended for an upgraded version that Hanglong offers for the recoil system in their tanks. Now, we've found a way to use the smoke system without this unit, which is what we're showing you today. Uh, so this system will also work whether you have the recoil uh, a cannon or not that's the beauty about this it's not just limited to the pro tanks you could actually install this in any one of the tanks so it kind of makes it a nice little uh, trick that you can do without actually having to spend a whole lot of extra money on on a an additional recoil system so next step here we are so we've got the top of the turret and we've got our cannon here that we want to load back into this so there's a few little things that we have to do to make this come through here so what we're gonna do is we're gonna remove this guy, which I'm gonna do right now. So now that we've got this off, the idea is this will go on here and your tube will run up. So we're gonna put a little hole on the side so that when it comes out, it can hook up to your tank. So we're gonna use our Dremel. All right, that should be good. You only need just enough room for the, the hose to go through. I didn't want to make it too big. Just again, in case you want to take it out and still use the BBs, this won't affect your BBs. It'll just still roll past it. So we're not too concerned with that. So this has to go back in with the hose in it. Remember, if you're new to this, do not over tighten these. Now your breech goes back. We are looking good. So now that we've got our hose ran, we're gonna install this guy. Now this guy, this is what, there's a heating element inside here and it generates your smoke. Later we'll get to the uh, air unit that pushes the smoke through. Now this nipple on the top here, this is gonna actually go through this little hole here. This is an existing hole that was in your BB tray that's going to go up through and that's your fill hole that's where you're going to add the oil once you've get it all installed so we're going to put this in on like that so this kit does not come with screws so we've had to find some of our own that will work so we're going to trim this so we're not using we're not going to kink it we'll trim it where we need it I cut it a little long. I'd rather cut twice than cut it once and mess it up. That actually worked out really well. All right, so now we've got our feed line installed. On to the next step. So this is the blower and you install your hose here. And the idea is this goes onto here. Um, so they don't include a mounting option for this, but you can watch our future video that's going to have mounting options, including 3D printing uh, an, an item for this. So for now, it's just going to get uh, double-sided taped into the turret, and that should do for now. So the next step that we have to do is install this trigger switch. This trigger tr switch tells what the smoke when to turn on and off. It's going to have to piggyback onto the back side of this now this trigger switch here it triggers the sound so this will this will be your sound for inside the tank so we need to maintain this this will go back with all the wires this guy here is going to stay in here and go to this 
First thing we're going to do, we're going to pull out this screw to get this switch out. Okay, so now we've got this removed. There's a little nub, so there's a little finish on here. You're going to want to uh, cut, cut this down a little bit. Try and trim it back. Now there's a nub on the back side. You're going to want to keep that. Now on this guy here, you want to get rid of that nub. Because that nub, the, where that nub was is going to go up against the face of this guy here. So you just want them nice and flat and flush. We've got some extra hardware in the kit that we're not going to be using because it was originally designed to f use the other Canon recoil system. But we're going to double purpose all this stuff. So it works out quite well. Are these two nuts? actually are just about perfect spacing. So we're going to take this guy here. Now let's see if we can get it back in the tank. So there's a plunger inside here that comes back and hits these triggers, closing the grounding circuit so that it'll tell it what to do. So we needed to add a second one because piggybacking on this would not have worked. It would have just made it look like it was a closed circuit all the time. The idea is to have two here. So when this plunger comes back, it hits it, sending the signal to the appropriate devices. This trigger, your original trigger, this is what gives you your sound and your knockback. It, it, it actually moves your tracks to give you the effect of recoil. This side here, this is gonna be your trigger for your cannon smoke. We're gonna move on to some wiring. So this is, this, this is going to be the only other wire that's added to the system that's going to go from the turret to the tank. So this is your power supply. So power supply directs you to put it at the top left corner. So this will go into that guy there. And then your heating coil socket. Heating socket is going to be the lower left side. Your air pump is going to be the lower right side. And this new trigger that we put in is going to go into the upper right side. And what this is going to do is it's once this gets triggered, it's going to tell this to turn on and fire the smoke. We put a little bit of sticky tape in there. That should do it. We'll do a little bit of wire cleaning and get things looking better in here. And uh, then we'll put it all back together. All right, next step is on this tank particularly, this is the lower turret. Next step, plugging all the electronics back into the control board. Okay, so as mentioned earlier, we have labeled all our wires. It's gonna make life a little easier for us. Again, if you didn't, the instruction booklet has it in it. Okay, so this, this is the last plug. And this is gonna be your power source up to your smoke kit. So you wanna plug this into channel five. This will be also known as Wi-Fi channel. Let's uh, put it together and give it a test. So now that we've got everything all bolted down, we're going to turn it on and we'll go over the sequencing on the radio that needs to be done to have it shoot the smoke out the front. So we'll turn it on. All right. G and S together. And then you want to turn your smoke back on and then fire. Yeah. <laughs> That's awesome.
very cool. But guys, it's been awesome showing you guys the install. It's been a tricky one. There's lots of little things to learn being we've had to adapt it to an existing um, breach or trigger style design under the under the turret. Uh, but I think overall, there's it's it's doable. I think anyone at home can do this. We're not using any special tools that you, you, you couldn't have your hands on. So thanks for watching. Like and subscribe for follow up videos on this tanks. So we're gonna be doing a lot of extra stuff to this. Uh, this will be an ongoing series. Thanks for watching.